Hey guys, welcome back to Guys That Listen. I'm Mario. And my name is Peter. And today we have the very, t- very talented Justin. Extremely talented. Justin, appreciate you guys. Us, tell, tell us what you're about. Tell us how... uh, so I'm the owner of Hardcore Performance. I started this business uh, seven years ago now. Um, so I train uh, clients or athletes for mud runs, uh, sparring races, tough oh. mudders, oh, uh, so things, cool. things like that. So... Sign me up. <laughs> hey, 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 you should take it class. You should take it Actually, do you have a softcore performance that I can uh, start I mean, off with? Yeah, you could start off there. <laughs> in- intros to hardcore. Yeah, intro, intro, you know. Guys, there's levels to it. <laughs> so, yeah, I've been doing that for seven years now. Then we've, you know, we've evolved. We added uh, the nutrition side to it. Uh, we work with other companies, local companies, yeah. you know, uh, cryotherapy, uh, nutrition, uh, pretty much everything, supplements, uh, apparel. So it's a whole ecosystem. What's the end goal? What's the dream goal? Like, what, are you, what are you trying to make this? Yeah. yeah it seems uh, like it's your baby, right? Like, it's my baby. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So the, you know, I was so against uh, opening up a gym. So I do want to have like a headquarters mm. to hold, host workshops. You got to tell um, them where you do all your stuff. Yeah. So we're based out in Orange County. So anywhere Oh, you from, guys are right here. Yeah. So <laughs> Huntington Beach up to Fullerton Brea area. So we bring the workouts outdoors. So 100%. a little bit different uh, yeah. functional fitness. We use sandbags. We bring out the kettlebells, dumbbells, mm-hmm. all that. Um, so kind of what you see inside the gym, but we just bring it out. Ooh. Yeah, get a little sunshine, sunshine. I like that. a little yeah. tan on while you're yeah. working out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So That's tight. You I'm, I'm go. a little, you know, a little brown now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. So after doing all this, like you somehow ended on TV. Yes, mm. yes. Um, so one of my clients. Doing uh, hardcore? Like, doing hardcore. Uh, you gotta elaborate, dude. You, you, you can't leave it. <laughs> like, doing well, hardcore. <laughs> the audience is gonna. Oh, man. Okay, so. <laughs> Mr. <Mister> Stan. <laughs> <laughs> Just cut it like hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> hardcore, please. <Yeah. laughs> Sorry, so one of your clients. <laughs> one of my clients. Um, so there was a Spartan Race Championship out in LA. I, I think this was maybe like 2017, 2018, something like that. Uh, she did really well. Her name is Pamela Price. Mm. Um, did really well. I was like, damn, I, we need this girl on, on our team. Uh, it's mostly men in our team. Yeah. The actual yeah. sport's mostly male. Okay. So seeing you know these badass women crush it, you mm. know, in the podium, it's rare. Yeah. So even if you see the corral of uh, women competing, it's like a third mi- or less. Damn. So I was like, we need her, um, and then. Going, kind of going back, the, the sports majority, it's a white dominant sport. Oh, okay. So having, she was half Filipina, half Jewish. Wow. So it was kind of nice to see. It was something oh. different. So yeah. you guys are progressive about equality and about Yeah, minorities. you know, yeah. so um, <laughs> if you kind of We look, love, we love yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, so that's if you look kind. at the clientele or, or the race team, it's very diverse. Mm-hmm. Prominently Asian, but, you know, we have from white, black, like all, you know, all the colors. Um, yeah. we, we're trying to encourage more women to not be so intimidated, especially with the name of hardcore, you mm, know, yeah. seeing our videos, seeing the workouts, yeah. you know, we scale it. It's, we don't just throw you in there yeah. with the wolves, you know, like mm-hmm. it's, it's softcore, you know, <laughs> <laughs> low key. So you said you um, could sign up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's definitely open to all levels, but going back to Pamela, um, it was just nice to see. She was like a different, you know, oh. um, her stature. She's she's short. She's like five foot. Oh, five that's one. impressive. And then, you know, competing against you know taller women, you know, who were you know, what, a couple inches, you know, that could just grab an eight foot wall. Yeah. She has to really power through to yeah. to get that, you know. Yeah. So she was actually on American Ninja Warrior. Oh, so cool. damn. I was about to ask. Yeah, if she was, she on, was on American Ninja Warrior. I think a year or two after that, she got scouted for Wipeout. Mm. Um, Wipeout actually got bought out by TBS. Okay. Um, there was a time where um, they stopped filming because there was a lot of injuries and deaths. Oh, oh. So deaths? Was, yeah. On Wipeout? On Wipeout. So that's, I never saw those. So, <laughs> the dark so side they, of Wipeout. <laughs> yeah, yeah, check the Reddits. Check the... Oh, wow, <laughs> yeah. no way. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's the crazy. other side of Wipeout that people don't It always looks see. so fun. Do they sign yeah. like a waiver beforehand? Like, you oh, sign your so life you can't away. even sue, huh? Yeah, you sign oh, your life away. Holy shit. Yep. Um, so she got scouted for that. They told her, um, we're doing it differently this time. It's partners. So you would need somebody to mm. be with you on the show. Um 
so she had a couple options. Uh, she had, she does uh, ro- outdoor rock climbing. She does bouldering, uh, indoor yeah. bouldering. She sounds crazy fit. Um, she yeah, super fit. And then I was her obstacle course coach, oh. so she kind of presented that to the producers. And then she's super bubbly, high energy. I'm the complete opposite, <laughs> <laughs> and that's why it works. Yeah, 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 they're yeah. like classic buddy cop movie. Him, you know, <laughs> Good just cop, that dynamic. Cop. You know, uh, yeah. She's super crazy. I'm super chill. Yeah. I was the one that just calmed her down. That makes oh. that's like me and Peter, you know. Yeah. <laughs> He's super crazy. Oh, I'm super chill. the crazy one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we were, you know, we we got on. We were pitched as the Boulder Buddies. <laughs> um, we were both, you know, Filipino. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the only kind of Asian team. Market, market. The minorities got it. Yeah. So <laughs> we were the Boulder Buddies that liked boba. So we actually had what? A, so we had a sponsorship with it's boba time. Oh, you did? Oh, have sponsorship. Yeah, they paid you. Uh, they it, it was more for Pamela, but yeah. they, okay, they, yeah. they recognized both oh, of us. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Boba time. Yeah, but it's boba time. Wow. So um, shout out to but it's boba <laughs> shout time. Shout out to boba time. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, a lot of so I guess what people don't know too is a lot of the promotion, the marketing with the television, mm-hmm. it was self promotion. You know, with what, what with do you us. mean? So. Pamela is actually a producer in Hollywood. Uh, she oh. does like the Hollywood Beauty Awards. Oh shit! She does a lot of like red carpet events and all that. She's in the industry. So she already knew how to leverage our exposure on you know TBS, yeah. uh, get articles uh, written up about us wow. being Asian wow. American. We gotta, we gotta talk to show. her. Yeah, yeah. 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 So she knows, yeah. and you know, obviously she knows people. Yeah. So it was she was connecting us to all these outlets. Wow, that's insane. So, but a, a lot of other contestants on Wipeout were were just super stoked just to be on the show, like yeah. ten seconds of fame or whatever. Yeah. That'd be me. Like, yeah, oh, yeah and that was it. You know, like got on the show. You know, just to say you were on it. Yeah. But for us, you know, Wipeout, it's it's something I could leverage. Like we were on Wipeout. Yeah. yeah. We train clients to get on these type of shows. Yeah. Or this is what we train for. You know, yeah. to just to be ready for these type of things. Um, so yeah, that was kind of, uh, that's crazy. The first exposure to television, yeah. seeing how on the back end it's so TV, everything scripted. Yeah. Uh, but also not knowing it's so cut, uh, into seconds or, you know, very yeah. short mm-hmm. uh, moments. One of the rounds we were going for 45 minutes. Holy just, fuck. Just uh, as many times as you could go in 45 minutes. Wow. So we were exhausted and we were probably one of the more fit ones we were exhausted you know uh, how the because you would get hit okay. fall about you know you're like 20 feet high yeah um, swim to wh- whether it's the starting position or a little checkpoints climb up and then do it again oh, oh shit because they're gonna take the best run or their funniest the old, whatever yeah, yeah the wow oh i totally thought it was one time yeah, go for some reason yeah. like i didn't even I, right that, that brings up a question like you, you were saying that some people die from this like it's not just like for, they do one run, they die, right? It's like it sounds like <laughs> like they go through it, like they make a mistake, or like they get so fucking exhausted, or you know, like so tired to swim, they drown or some shit like that. Like, <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like, like yeah, you, yeah. you do four or five minutes straight. Like at one point, your body just gives up because this is a physical yeah, endurance. Yeah, yeah, and they, you know, they scout really random people. It's not just athletes. Oh, it's really, oh, I know, I know that. Like a reg, you know. Joe Schmo or mm-hmm. regular people, average people. Wow. It's like Adrian, yeah. the videographer, like, come on. Like, <laughs> <I'm sure." laughs> Mr. Midnight. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, it's not usually just athletes. It could just be someone who, I think there was one who liked pickle juice. They were huh? just like a pickle juice connoisseur or whatever. What the heck? Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, interesting. You know, so it was just like age range, just very. So, so were you guys like the one to beat? Like the, the other people I were the underdogs? I think so. Yeah. Yes. But I think there's also a lot of luck involved. Oh, really? With, you know, how there's so many moving parts. Yeah. So it's not just being physically fit. It's timing. It's luck. Yeah. yeah. How do you prepare for something like that? You know, we, we did some research from the previous seasons. Yeah. But even that, you couldn't really prep because... So um, they don't let you know beforehand, like, this is what it looks no, like? No. So <laughs> I guess Shit. the show already aired, so we could talk about yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> um, they'll give you a PowerPoint a presentation of the rules of how to do each obstacle uh, okay. correctly. Yeah. So one of the rules is you can't go under any of the obstacles. 
so you always have to jump over. Mm. So I don't know if you watched the show. It's, yeah, I've seen a couple. You're like, ah, uh, like you probably could have just gone yeah, under yeah. and made it easier, oh. but you have to do it a certain way. And then, um, do you know why that is? Like, just to make it more hard. Yeah, more difficult. It's like a yeah. view thing. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, views. Yeah. And then, um, oh, we. This was peak COVID. It was shut down. Oh shit. Oh. Yeah, it, this was December, twenty twenty. Wow. Yeah. So we were in a warehouse. We couldn't see the course until we were right, like, on, like, about to go. Wow. So you couldn't, you know, like, you couldn't, game, you couldn't game plan. You couldn't strategize at all. So we were walking. We we're trying to, like, okay, there's this, 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 yeah. this. And then you got, like, 10 seconds, and then you're, like, boom, go. Wow. I'm like, oh. So <laughs> it's just quick. It's quick. That's crazy. So you kind of just, you know, race mode. Yeah. You know, me and Pamela were very competitive. We're kind of used to the, that adrenaline. Yeah, yeah that pressure, too. Um, so, yeah, we kind of just had our blinders, and we were just like, all right, let's, let's do this. How'd you guys do? Uh, so we ended up getting – we went to the last round. Mm-hmm. Uh, nice. I actually fractured my ankle. I had a compound fracture. Oh, no! shit. You hurt yourself? On the shit. last obstacle. Holy shit. What yeah. happened? Stitches and yeah. hardware to, wow. to prove it. <laughs> oh, no. Welcome to the club. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you can't even sue them, huh? Nope. Wow. Uh, wait, wait, what were you doing that caused that? So last obstacle, there were moving hexagons, uh, rotating hexagons. Okay. I think there was like three or four, and then there was the finish line. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was jumping from hexagon one and two. One and two were coming together. I was falling. My ankle got caught, <gasps> and it just snapped in two places. Oh. Whoa, that's crazy because those things look soft. They don't look like – They're like, soft, they, but the inside of it, it's a – the machine, machine, yeah. yeah. Fuck, it's the fucking Terminator at that point. Yeah, God a, damn. Yeah, it's a full blown. That's machine. crazy. So what? Wait, it snapped. You were there. What the hell happened afterwards? You just it fell in the water. So luckily it was a night shoot. So the water was cold. So just the adrenaline. Um, Did the you cold know? Water. Oh, I knew. Oh, yeah, you I knew instantly. Holy. Yeah. So first major uh, injury. I knew um, the people, the lifeguards. Mm-hmm. They they were just like swim to land, and then we'll pull you out. So I'm what like, the fuck? So I'm just like Damn. back backstroke, you know, to land. Dude, this is <laughs> some. Oh my god, what the? F- this is some Squid Game shit, dude. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, what kind of fucking lifeguard waits for the person to swim back to shore before you? Whoa, that's fucking insane. Was that on the first run, or is that a different run? It was the first run. Oh, wow. Yeah, Holy first shit. run. So, but the crazy thing before that too is. We actually didn't make, uh, so there's three rounds. That was the final round. Mm-hmm. The second round, we actually got second place. So we were actually technically weren't supposed to move on. Yeah. One of the teams got COVID, so oh, we were the backup. Shit. So we lucked out on that sense mm-hmm. and then oh, and then wow. fractured you That's know, crazy. that final round. <laughs> Do you think if that didn't happen, you guys would have won? I think we had a very good shot, Holy for sure. God. So yeah. what happens then since you... Obviously, you get injured. She's on her own. Does she just compete by herself? Or so like- I was the oh, I was the last part of our run, mm-hmm. and then they max out that time for my run. So it was like ten minutes, for example. Added that to her time, oh. and then the next team just had to essentially beat that time. When you go on the show, uh-huh. you don't get paid. They'll give you a little bit, like a allowance to, for the day. So yeah, nothing. Really- I'll say it's lunch money. So it's just for the exposure then? Uh, yes, for exposure. Uh, I guess the chance to win 25000 Yeah, 25000 is nothing. That's your and fucking actually, medical you split, bill. You split 25000 with your Oh, partner. so you're winning 12500 12, Yeah, 12, Holy 12. F- 12. I am just shocked experience. how cheap these motherfuckers yeah. are. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, I am fucking... Oh, we could cuss. Uh, <laughs> damn, dude. Yeah, 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 you, guys, yeah, <laughs> you can say whatever the fuck you want. All right, <laughs> All right cool. We're yeah, not PG. Yeah. Not yeah, 13. Yeah, <laughs> this is rated X, if yeah, anything. Yeah. This guy's that curse. You, you literally own hardcore performance. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, that's fucking that kind of makes me mad to be honest. Yeah. Like, yeah, no, like, it's... like, like, what the fuck? Like, they budget like that on fucking purpose. They make sure that you sign off on everything, so that way they get you get no money out of them. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. They don't pay you out for anything. Like, even twenty five grand is fucking it's nothing. nothing. Yeah, for your health, for your medical bills, like. <laughs> Yeah. Damn, all right. Right. As as a yeah. business owner, right? Do you yeah. think that was a positive ROI? Uh, I think for me, yes. Oh wow. Um, coming from as a you know fitness coach, especially yeah. an obstacle course coach. Yeah. I think it was very on brand for uh-huh. for me to do. Uh, for Pamela, that sh- 
she's like, that's my last TV show. That's my last type of competition that I'll do. Wow. So she actually got multiple concussions from that show. Holy so shit. So she, she got pretty banged up. And just from that experience, she's just, I'm, I'm done. Like, I'm, you that's know. so crazy. So for me, I actually have, it kind of, it was the door to lead into new, op- more opportunities. Mm. And it's also a great uh, resume builder f- yeah. for myself. That's awesome, so, dude. Yeah, I see you doing really well. With so you kind of just have to roll with the punches yep. like you know yeah. it, it was that it was a bad you know what accident but you just have to look at the positives in, in that yeah how so, long did it take for you to heal um six months holy crap yeah it's a long time six screws and a play later dude too. <laughs> Wait, were you active during that time because i can't imagine you being so, such an active person not moving around luckily you know? at that time it was shut down so all of our events got yeah. canceled too okay so it, it was a blessing in disguise mm. saying that I didn't because I was traveling almost every weekend for yeah. competitions or going for, you know, clients, yeah. whoever the comp- competitions were. So it, it just forced me to really sit down and kind of reflect if I'm hurt, how can I pivot the business? Oh, oh, so wow. that, that was a yeah. really turning point for, for me. Um, but yeah, it was just. I was still active. I still had to do my PT. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of studies showing that even if you're injured, you should mm-hmm. still train mm-hmm. yeah. the opposite side. Mm-hmm. There's no reason why your whole body doesn't have to train. Yep. Yeah. So I was still doing, you know, core work, upper body, yeah, uh, my opposite else. leg. Yeah. How have you seen that it helped the business? Like, um, what impact did it have you coming on there? You uh, on there and, like, okay. Yeah. It definitely impacted the business in a sense that people were noticing or um, I guess people outside of the obstacle course community mm. yeah, were noticing, oh, he's, it, it was kind of just a validation mm. for he's mm. legit. Yep. Yeah. Um, you know, compared to other trainers out there, you know, it's, it's kind of like that extra notch yep. where you could kind of, it's like the blue check mark without a check mark. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Because it is very on brand for yeah. you guys. Too, on brand, you know, because awesome, yeah. it, if it's like a trainer at 24 hour fitness or, yeah. you know, something yeah. like that, it, it wouldn't really <laughs> like matter. Like it, yeah. it's cool, but you know, it wouldn't really matter. Is so, your guys, is, is it more fringe? Like your obstacle course and everything is in the, like the community? Yes, it's very specific. Okay. Right, so CrossFit has kind of like their cult. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, obstacle course uh, racing, it's very, it's, it's still a growing sport. Yeah. It's still a very new. I think it's probably one of the newer sports out yeah. there. Um, even when I first started, I had to explain, like, we're not CrossFit. Yeah. We're not. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah I remember so, that. <laughs> yeah, so um, it's still, there's a lot of education involved unless yeah. you're already in that field or in that running community. Mm-hmm. If you strip it all down, it's, it's a running sport. Okay. So, yeah, and you're just throwing obstacles in there. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Typically, the runners are, are more successful rather than, let's say, coming from a CrossFit background and then going into something like uh, this. Sign me up. You're on Wipeout? Sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> certified. <laughs> certified. Certified. Blue check. certified. Blue check. But yeah, we, we definitely got uh, a lot of exposure from, from Wipeout. You know, um, we were able to kind of piggyback that um, from TBS and all the articles and features. It's crazy how powerful media is to like yeah, change your business. Yeah, it really is. Dude. I've seen people's lives change. You know, yeah. We have a friend, Kenny, uh-huh. owns ice cream shop. Oh, yeah. He was on uh, Thrillist. Oh, Boom, yeah, yeah, before yeah, he yeah. even opened, fucking yeah. lines out the door because yeah. he wrote an article. On Number two of insane. all time on Thrillist. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Still, no. to this day, it's fucking okay. insane. Okay. It's so good. Yeah, Changes dude. life, you know? Yeah, yeah dude. no, for sure. Yeah, and it's like, same thing with you, right? Like, your biz. Like, it really helped out with your clientele, right? And getting I think people so. that's like, because obviously you have a very niche community, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So you want the masses to adopt this. Like, you yeah. want more clients. You want more people to come through the For door sure. and be like, I want to do what you do, even yeah. though I don't know anything about it. Yeah. <laughs> so, so to hear about it on, like, through television, like, that's one of the best ways to get that. Exposure. Exactly. Exactly. So uh, do you feel like now that you're there with, like, your business, mm-hmm. like, your clientele has shifted because now you're getting a lot of people who watch it on TV and like, I want to do that versus yeah. the people who are like already in the industry and like, Oh yeah, I've ran a couple of spine races. I've, you know, done a couple of mud runs, whatever. It's like, yeah, it's a little bit different. So people who are in like the spine race or yeah. OCR community, mm-hmm. uh, they do want to get into that TV realm or the oh, white really? American Ninja warrior. Damn. So kind of once you're in that network, you could kind of, 
uh, help in that sense. Yeah. Oh, that makes so sense. I was oh. able to get one of my clients into White Palace for that following season. So that how they do? Uh, they actually got to the last round also. So. <laughs> Nice. Didn't didn't Jack win. His, yeah, no injuries. The, making it no to the finals. Injuries. No injuries. They made it to the last round. They didn't win. But uh, yeah, I think a lot of it there's there's timing yeah. in, in there too. Like luck some luck. Timing. Yeah. You know, there's there's someone controlling the yeah. the platforms. You know, it's kind of like the. Do I like this bowl. guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. <laughs> Damn, that's. Crazy. And then um, on that new um, was it the new prospects uh, looking yeah. in you know from television or who's seen me. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it, it's just scaling it down. Like, hey, this is what we did mm-hmm. to prep for that. It's functional fitness. It it'll apply to whatever sport mm-hmm. if you're trying to get into to wipe out or yeah, yeah. obstacle course race or nice. whatever your fitness goal is. Yeah, um, it's very translatable. So, yeah. so you can get me into wipe out is what you're saying. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so being like, okay, just just kind of go away from the whole wipe out that kind of talk right now, like. You're a very physical guy. Like you, you, you're, you've been fit ever since I fucking known you. <laughs> like this dude has abs, bro. Trust. No. Check his Instagram out. No. Anyways, uh, no, do right. So uh, <laughs> subscribe you know, to OnlyFans. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but uh, you know, like the kind of people you meet, you meet are always like fit people, right? You always meet like typically or at least at least people who are interested in it. Okay. Like except us. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you socialize with people who are like typically in the industry or people who want to get in the industry or want to get fit. Like, do you feel like your taste has changed? Because like, can you imagine dating someone who's like non-active? Ooh, okay. Ooh. Um, I think my taste has changed. Yes. Um, and I think this question comes up a lot. So I'm s- still single, s- single. Sorry. Shout out to the ladies out yeah, there. Shout out to the there. Check out uh, Instagram. Right. This guy got ass. <laughs> Onlyfans.com slash Justin Wipe Out. <laughs> um, I think, yeah, my definitely the change has, the, the taste has changed. Mm-hmm. Um, I do have a specific, I guess, you know. Type? Type, yeah. But I don't think fit has, is kind of. Really? The deal breaker? What is the type and what is the deal breaker? <laughs> My type is African American. Oh, uh, yeah. a little bit different. Um, no, I don't, I'm a Doja Cat, dude. My, oof. Yeah, you know, <laughs> <laughs> like mix, mix ladies. Uh, that's that's my thing. Um, no Asians, unfortunately. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Has that always been the case? You said your type changed, right? Yeah. So that's always been a case. So oh, I went okay. to a high school, dominantly all Asian. Yeah. Really? So what high school? Uh, Oxford Academy, so it was a college prep school. Oh, okay. Um, and they were just, um, it was a college prep, so it was people coming from Asia, you know. Mm, oh. They're really trying to, you know, get into those uh, Ivy League schools yeah. and yeah. all that. They're so focused. You're taking tests just to get in the school, and you have to maintain a certain GPA to just uh, Damn. to stay in there. Ended up uh, getting kicked out because my grades were, you know trash compared to everyone else Mm -hmm. um but yeah like just dating in high school it was you know chinese korean vietnamese filipina (laughs) it traumatized i'm like (laughs) yeah like honestly traumatized yeah really what was the craziest one (laughs) personally uh vietnamese and filipinas are crazy 100 percent agree really vietnamese and filipinas yeah i know you know, like everyone's crazy, like has their yeah, little, yeah, of course. Know, We're all nuts, different dude. levels. But yeah, I think it's just worth, you know, wow. African-American, Latinas and mix. That, that's, that's that's my jam. Fucking that's insane true. that he just said <laughs> he was just like, oh, Vietnamese and Filipino crazy. And he's like, oh, I date uh, black girls and Latino yeah. girls. Yeah, different, different yeah. type of crazy. But I'm, I hear Latino I'm girls. Down, be fucking, I'm down for that type of spice. Though. I mean, yeah. I he do. wants his car slash, you know, not yeah. his throat. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Or my dick. <laughs> Cut off. Oh, yeah. oh you know, dude, like, dude. They will, they will cut it, cook it, and eat it in Stop. front of you. Stop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's you live a risky <laughs> ass <laughs> fucking life, my friend. Yeah. Jesus. So, and this is why I'm still single, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. No, okay. Okay. So let, let's. Uh, what What has been your craziest experience? This is something we usually ask at the end of the show. Yeah, but, but right, we gotta go into it now. This is, oh, we're going to it now. Oh, we're going. Okay. Yeah, we're going okay. To it now. So my craziest. Yeah, like, I mean, it seems like you've had this 
trauma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd, I'd dating, definitely be trauma. Dating in the Asian community. So okay. I, I would like to know what will happen. <laughs> okay. Well, but where do you want to start? Vietnamese? Yeah, let's Whoa, go with that. Then, you got yeah. fucking options. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you're familiar with the ABG Asian baby girl community. Oh, yeah, he's, I've heard. I've heard. He's okay. a big fan. I've heard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I've heard. So, yeah, it, it was just, uh, what was it? I don't, do you, do we call it gang life? Like, oh, yeah, kind of okay. like yeah, that yeah, type yeah, of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like banger life shit. Yeah, yeah, you know, so it was just something the girl was affiliated with it. Mm. Um, not even directly, but Damn, you're talking about the real ABGs. Yeah. You're not talking about the modern. Yeah, days. no, no yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it back, has back shifted. In the, yeah, back, yeah, in the back day. in the day, back in the day, this, this was like co- high school, college. Yeah, man, I don't know. It's just the, the people you're hanging out with, it's partying, it's, you know, so is you there, don't. Is there a story in your mind that sticks out though, like a, a moment in time, of like something you were just like, oh shit, I gotta, I gotta stop. Like I, I, I can't be dating these girls, or like I can't be dating this person. I think there was a time. It, I think I got the tail end of the ABG life of, mm. of her, but what I it, this was probably the red flag already. But she introduced me to her ex, like wanted me to shake hands with him. Was and he a gangster? He was, I thought I was going to die that night. Wow. <laughs> like, I went to a house party, yeah. met this guy, had to look him in the eye and shake his hand. Like, hey, this is, I'm dating her now. Wow. Like, be cool. That was it. Because I felt like I had to sleep with one eye open, you know, wow. being with, with this girl. And He's but, like, so you're fucking my girl now. <laughs> yeah, it was like my ex-girl. Like, yeah. what? Like, like, Dude, come on. Fucking like cool. turning, you know, the the page or something so <laughs> like, you guys met and yeah we just she sat us or we were standing up she had both of us shake hands like hey i'm dating this person now like don't mess with him oh wow yeah, weird. A, little weird. a little weird and that little? probably should have been me leaving but i stayed for a couple more years, oh, <laughs> <more> years? <laughs> yeah i don't know holy so, yeah. shit is that the first and last time you, you talked to that dude? Yeah, yeah, yeah I think wow, so. Wow, that's yeah. fucking crazy. But every time we saw each other at whatever, raves, parties, mm-hmm. or in public, it was it was cool. Like, no drama. Yeah. It was, it was chill. Well, honestly, yeah. like, uh, a lot of, like, gang people, like, yeah. are some of the nicest people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah, kind of yeah. weird, because, like, you, you, <laughs> you see them for the first time, and you're like, fuck, I'm going to die, or some shit's going to go down. Yeah. You talk to them, they, they like with you like heavy and it's just like oh shit you're actually homies it's, yeah it's weird right because <laughs> yeah, that's not right. what they portray in the fucking movies yep the movies yep. kind of like oh shit you're gonna get shot like all the fucking time <laughs> they're stabbed they're, yeah, they're they're stabbed, yeah, yeah. so that's the that's the vehicle that's the vehicle girl? girl yeah right, what's the korean <laughs> oh yeah i didn't do korean okay i still can't oh, oh, still okay the, you said chinese uh filipina filipina uh, the one experience that sticks out <laughs> is we we had an argument um, I was dropping her home. She, she literally jumped out of it, opened the door, just hopped out of the car. She was like, I'm walking home. And I was like, yo, like the car's still moving. Like, <laughs> just that. wait a couple minutes. Like, just I'll, drop and roll. Like, no, it, like, oh, man, I don't even know. It was just open and yeah. kind of just going with momentum. Wow. Like just now that you're good with form and obstacles, would you say she did it wrong? <laughs> Actually, it was pretty good. I wow. think she was just so pissed. Like, she was just like, fuck it. Like, Damn. Open the door, seatbelt. How fast were you guys out. going? I didn't mean, it wasn't that fast, but still, still man. Yeah, I'm of like, course, yo. Dude. And I, I think I was like freshman in college or something. That's that girl, his crazy. business partner. <laughs> <laughs> dude, oh, man. What, what'd you do after that? She hops out and then you're like, what, late? Man, no, I think we had a really big argument probably makeup sex and then got back together <laughs> yeah that sounds crazy <laughs> yeah crazy but yeah it, it didn't last long like it was just uh, bad what put you on to dating uh, latina and african-american women oh uh, that's true so after my whole trauma with <laughs> dating uh, <laughs> asian women um always wanted something different like different yeah. culture yeah. Um, yeah. after college i i um, i was backpacking australia oh um, dude i think i remember talking to you about yeah that. so it was a like a month and a half just on my own just i wanted culture shock just something different like i know we're already in a melting pot of uh, different cultures but you know meeting just being submerged in a different culture is totally different Mm -hmm. you know so um i don't know like 
loving you know African culture. To, you know, my goal is to make uh, Blasian babies. Oh, Blasian <laughs> babies. Blasian babies. Um, Honestly, Blasian babies are the cutest babies. And I, and I don't even like kids, so I'm telling you that. So, um, yeah, my ex was, was mixed. My most recent ex um, was mixed. Mm. So, yeah, just something different. There's uh, kind of like a stigma, like a positive, I, don't, I wouldn't even call it a stigma, but even in public, people were like, you guys are a great looking couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, as an Asian man, mm. being seen in public with, a taller yep. African woman. It's not taller. Common. Isn't she was taller than you? She was taller. Really? Um, yeah. How tall is she? She's probably like five six, five seven. Plus her curly hair. Like. Yeah. Oh big, yeah, big, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like I was actually gonna ask about that. Do you feel that there's like obviously you see the stigma too, but do you feel that it's harder for you to date like African American women or Latinas as an Asian man because you often get? Um, I feel like Asian dudes get the stigma of like where it's like Asian women are so fetishized. Mm but then you got the complete opposite for Asian dudes, you know? That's true. But also, yeah. he's Filipino, and Filipinos are some hella talented, be, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You're either a I fucking know, DJ, you're a dancer, you're a fucking singer. <laughs> so so do you do you ever face any stigma or anything like that, or is it... Non- I think so. Um, like, right off the bat, yes. Yeah. Mm. But I think now um, there's more of a openness, uh, whether it's African and, you know... African ladies or women, uh, Latinas, I think they're more open to the idea. Yeah. Um, hashtag short kings. <laughs> hey, hashtag know, short kings. Hashtag short kings. Five, six, and under. Um, I'm huge on that. Yeah. Like, I don't think height should really matter, like, in a relationship. Yeah. Like, so I know girls that like shorter dudes. Like, Do you feel insecure about height or no? I used to. Now oh. I'm super comfortable with it. I, nice. I just own it. I'm like, Same here, man. Same here. I'm like, yo. Nice. Me too. Like you can't change anything about it. How how how'd you go over? It? I think just liking taller women. I don't know. Oh really? You're a climber. I'm a climber. <laughs> I'm a climber. I love climbing <laughs> trees. <laughs> Hence, obstacle course racing. It's all on brand, you know. Uh, so I see where it's going. Yeah. <laughs> Shouts to hardcore performance. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything in your life that led you? to becoming more confident owning like your own height you know are there specific instances or just kind of happen naturally because i get that you're like obviously you want well they took taller women but like, yeah i'm sure there was like a leap of faith before that you know before yeah. you started climbing you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah for sure so you don't just jump into it it's early climbing yeah. days <laughs> yeah no, i think it's putting yourself out there like dating dating around i think is huge Damn. um you know, in in a positive sense, where you're learning what what you like, what you don't like. I yeah. think I came to oh, a yeah. point where, um, you know, my recent uh, long uh, relationship. Yeah. It took me a while. It took me a couple years before I could even date. But it also was a time where I was so focused on my business, mm-hmm. so I was so distracted. And then it kind of mm-hmm. got weird. Where okay, I'm gonna put myself out there. Let's figure out, you know, what I like, what I don't like. Yeah. What the red flags I'm looking for. And even, you know, after the, the pandemic, it was weird, you know, yeah, putting no, yourself definitely. out there. Yeah, you know? it's weird. Yeah. I told myself I wasn't going to be on dating apps. Uh, <laughs> the homies were just like, do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just like, do it, bro. What do you have to lose? You know, like it, it did have a negative stigma also. Yeah, yeah, of course. But that's how people are meeting nowadays. Yeah. yeah. You know, people, it's changed. Yeah. People are working so much that they don't have time to go out. So, yeah. you know, they're kind of just swiping right, left, you yeah. know, so. Um, yeah, and I think it just came to a point where I went on a couple of dates, even, like even before all this, you know, the dating apps, um, where I knew I, I couldn't date short girls. I, I didn't like short girls. Wow. So you just what? said height doesn't matter. Holy I know, crap. I know. But, but it, was, it doesn't matter. All heights matter. <laughs> all heights matter. All heights are my short queens. Short queens, wow. short queens. Wow. Holy crap, I did not expect that. <laughs> that yeah, was yeah. a plot twist. Yeah, short Holy shit. Twist. But, you know. If I can't climb you, you ain't the one. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, I don't know. It's There's something about it where I, I just, you know, it was kind of like the Asian thing. Like, I just can't that do can, Oh, that kind of, oh, oh, my God. Yeah. That would be kind of <laughs> crazy. Like, if we dig deep and it's like. Yeah, I don't you, know. that trauma caused you not to like short girls. Maybe, yeah. Insane. Maybe it was all you know tied together. Yeah, like oh, all the girls right. that are short of me led to heartbreak, and all the girls who were taller than me led to. Or it was <laughs> like all these Asian girls hurt me, and all these Asian girls tend to be short, so I'm gonna cut all yeah, that off. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, that's, dude, that's crazy! No one else wow, <laughs> I thought it was like, oh, yeah, 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 talk about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let that, sink, let that sink in. Let yeah, that sink yeah, because in. in general, right, like as Asian guys, we are shorter than mm-hmm. females. The thing is that 
like in general, women like taller guys. So yeah. for you to date a taller girl, you also have to find a taller girl who dates shorter guys. True. And that in itself is like, that's crazy because the fact that you got exposure to that and you could find that, that means that somehow you found the one who's willing to also accept the fact that you will not date shorter girls, <laughs> even though you're the shorter guy who will date yeah. taller girls. True. Like that True. is so, yeah. whoa. Yeah. It's what funny. the heck? But I also get, um, I've gotten the comment where you seem taller yeah. because the Honestly, way you, that's the confidence. Sorry, I, I mean to interrupt you, but like you actually like the fact that you said you're short like actually blew me away because I, I never noticed that. Yeah, I always right. thought you were like my height. He's like I'm five foot two. <laughs> <laughs> He's like I'm He's like damn, <laughs> damn. <laughs> you never noticed? No. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, because like when we're talking about this now, and I was like, oh, how tall is the girl? And you're like five six, five seven. I was like, I was like what? You're like five nine, five ten, no? And in my head, I was like, nah, I, that nah, nah. just processed. With me. Yeah. Wow. What? Yeah. The so fuck? I've gotten those comments where you seem taller. It's just the way you present yourself, yep. the confidence, um, and the posture. The posture, yeah, that, that's huge. It, it's all little things. Power stance. Short kings, all that. not short princes, you know. <laughs> so short kings, like you just have to own it. Like yep. you know, like who you are, and you know, it's taking time to to get where I am, and yeah, you kind of just know what you want and like you know okay like i like this tall person shoot the shot yeah, no that, it makes that. sense it's That's like strong. you might be short but you don't like short girls you might be asian but you don't like asians mm. don't like, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming you don't like also like athletes either i mean i'm not opposed to it yeah. um would you date someone who's buffer than you <laughs> oh man i don't i don't know like I'm not opposed to it. She's like, touch my ass, baby. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Let's compare. <laughs> Let's compare abs. So then when he, when he asked, like, if you have to date someone who is into fitness and stuff, I'm assuming the answer is no. They don't have to be into, in you, your world. You don't have to. Oh, yeah. Mm. I always say, as long as you're healthy, it doesn't have to be what I'm doing. Yeah. It could just be yoga. It could just be running. Oh, yeah. It could be whatever. Oh, uh, so but just take care of yourself. What's the turnoff for you? Like, it sounds like, like you got certain things that you're like, I um, yeah, I, I guess the turnoff uh, kind of leading back to that red flag and just popped up in my head being is being Asian, <laughs> <laughs> being short, <laughs> deal breakers, deal breakers, right? Hey, shouts uh, to my four nine queens out there. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my favorite. <laughs> um, I think uh, girls that are always on their phones, you oh, know, posting okay. yeah. some, you 100%. know, going out or dates if they're on their phone, it's I'm more of a we're all so busy. Mm. Let's, you know, we're already here, like face to face. Just put it's the phone away, it. you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's just hang out, be present. You that know? is hundred percent true. So a lot of people, I guess, kind of don't know how to do that now. Yeah. You know? So it's do you weird. feel like? Uh, have you dated like a younger? Girl? I was thinking the same. Thing. Yeah? yeah. Yeah, definitely. Do you feel like that's a problem more like with the younger, like people? Yes, um, but also I've dated. Um, older, but it was also part of their job. Oh, uh, you know, yes. so I, I get that. I, I know that's like, Do yeah. you excuse that if it's part of their job? Yes, mm -hmm. but at least uh, it's almost let me know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, like if we're going out to dinner, yeah. let's put the phone away for let bo like both of us will put the phone away for an hour. Yeah. You know, let check it later. Or if it's an emergency, then okay. Uh, that's fine. Is that a red flag to you guys if a girl can't put away her phone, but she's got work? She's got business, though, like, you know? Uh, that's fine. Mm. For, for me. <sighs> it depends, dude. I for, think like, an hour of dinner, you can't put your phone. Like, I think not put your phone away, but, like, you're going to if someone calls you, you're going to answer if it's for work. I think it's a red flag if you say you're going to put it away, but you don't. Like, uh, I don't know if you guys watch Entourage. I love Entourage. You know Ari? I love Ari. <laughs> he's so fucking funny. Yeah. He's, like, <laughs> he's so fucking like, funny. I think there's like a clip where he's like, yeah, I don't have my phone on me. See, I promise you, right? Yeah. He goes into like a restroom. He has like a phone oh. in there uh, and he goes on the phone yes. and she finds us. She's like, what the fuck are you like? <laughs> dude, like you cannot without your phone for even like a second. Yeah. You know? Oh, and that's the one where they're like, oh, it's like a, uh, uh, Jewish holiday too. Forget, and you're not dude, supposed to, like, you're supposed to be present like in the church stuff and he oh, has yeah, his phone. Yeah, that's yeah, dude. But I, I ask because like I am that guy in a sense where it's like I do have to have my phone on me even yeah. when I go to dinner. But I, I'm like I'm not gonna tell you I'm not gonna have it. I'm like yeah. if I have a work call I have to take it. Yeah. So yeah. like you know That's it's fine. not gonna ruin our dinner experience. Yeah. I'm like I'm gonna keep it on me if yeah. I see that it's work or if it's something if one of my homies is calling it something important I'm gonna answer. You know, I think like, it's yeah. different when when you let that be known though. I think it's also different when you're like yo I'm 
literally just get focused on you and us. Like, yeah. this is really important. I'm not yeah. going to pick up my phone. And then they do it anyways. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think that's, that's a little different. It's almost like a slap in the face. Yeah. yeah but so. we're talking about, like, something completely different than what's typically out there, right? Like, we're talking about, like, high-level performers. Like, people who have to pick up their phone for work and business, mm-hmm. these people are not playing around. Yeah. They got a fucking goal that they're trying to reach, right? Yeah, yeah. But then you have the opposite side. People are just, like, scrubbing through fucking social media. Exactly. For no yeah. fucking reason. Yeah. Looking at the same post that they saw on Facebook on Instagram. I'm like, exactly. What the fuck's the fucking point? Yeah. You know I mean, like... Do you feel like you can't date those kind of girls? I feel like I can't. Ah, I can't. Damn. Yeah. So first date, he has talking. Yeah. She pulls out her phone, and you're like, "What do you want to eat?" And she's like, "Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh." No, that's really. Yeah, that's that's a strike. But she's, but a she's strike. checking out hardcore performances yeah. fan page. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're on Yelp or something, you yeah. know, like ah, oh, no, it's, it's a flag, man. So you know, in high school and somewhat of college, you dated. Asian girls, right? Now yep. you don't only date Latinas and black girls, right? Do you think the approach is a little different? <laughs> yes. Yeah? Definitely. Well, how so? Um, oh, man. The approach. Well, I think one of the biggest approach is it's all through social media or online somehow. somehow. Really? Um, I mean, I meet a lot of people through events, competitions, yeah. trainings. Mm-hmm. Um, but I definitely try to keep that separate. Yeah. So if Just I like am work. interested mm-hmm. in somebody, it would have to be like online, yeah, right? outside, uh, yeah. social media or, um, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I think that that's kind of like my route. Um, I don't really go out, um, like to bars yeah. to pick up women or meet mm-hmm. women like that music head though <laughs> <laughs> is, so is. so i would say i think what peter means more is like is regardless of social media regardless mm-hmm. of you meeting somebody in person your approach for this woman who's yes. of a different culture you know mm-hmm. is it different than your approach that you dated when you did asian woman is it different from a latina is it different when you date an african-american woman mm-hmm. you know do you see a difference in the way you talk or the way you act or the, the way you are approaching your game when you talk to this woman? I guess a little bit. Um, mm. I think the game is still the same. Yeah. Really? <laughs> so why is the game? <laughs> yeah. uh, can't tell my secrets. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, just Damn. But um, I, I just try to keep it real, like 100% yeah. myself. Um, I think the interest is, is different. You know, talking to African women, you know, whether it's music, mm. it's fashion, you know, streetwear, mm. I think that's something where yeah. we, we connect. Uh, with Latinas, you know, usually it's like uh, food or mm. like dancing, something mm, like that. Yeah. So in that aspect, that's the differences. But presenting myself, it's it's going to be the same yeah. across yeah. the board. Uh, so, so I'll, I'll yeah. give you an example of yeah. what, uh, like, at least it's been in my experience. <laughs> yeah. Where it's yeah. like um, talking to, let's say, someone who is Asian or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. We, when you, when I have, like, talked and, like, you know, we flirt, whatever, everything, it's yeah, more... Yeah. Um, back and forth mm. it's more like um can mouse it, it's it, it, sometimes it's like they can be coy and this is just my own experience i'm not i'm not yeah, trying to generalize course, everything course. you know yeah. but it's like you can't come on too strong is what i mean sometimes mm. it's it, unless i mean yeah you can't come on to at least that's been my experience you can't come on too strong but when i have talked to like african girls it's like you can come on strong like, <laughs> like you, damn, huh? Uh, and I, and I, no, I don't talk to <laughs> this some, uh, some yeah. Uh, yeah, like some yeah. kind of like you know, like somewhere for like let's say like Donovan who could just like kind of say that and yeah. like you know that's a lot easier to get away with in the sense because um, I think that's they're more true. responsive to a certain kind of confidence. Mm. Um, at least that's been my interpretation, uh, and that's why I, I ask that. if you have true. like a different approach because it, it's the same thing when I've talked to yeah. Latinos too. It's like completely different. Mm. Um, but that's been my experience. I can totally I see, see that. that. Yeah, I, I see that too. No, I I agree with you though. Um. The confidence level is like higher up. Yep. Yeah. Um, compared to let's say Asian women, because I feel like we're we're confident enough. Like whatever you present to the table, there they'll take it. Yeah. Um, yeah. With Latinas and African women, there's more to show forth. Um, mm. I f- I don't know. I, I feel like they have higher walls to climb. And <laughs> break He's down. He's a climber. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely a fucking climber. <laughs> So yeah, I think it's, there's uh, just so much more to prove to them to yeah. like get your trust to even have them pay attention to you, you know, grab their attention. Yeah. Yeah. So having that confidence or uh, something to, to show forth, you know, it's 
I guess that approach, yeah, it, it is different. Yeah. No, it totally makes sense. Like for from my own personal experience, I noticed that Latina and Black girls are more bold with going forward with things, approaching. Which we like appreciate. Yeah, we do appreciate. Yes, yeah. that. Shout out to all my Latina. <laughs> <Latinos>. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like yeah. I, I, yeah. I rarely ever get approached by like Asian chick. You know, and if mm. it is, it's like in the most timid way. Like hi. <laughs> Thank you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. like a, a black chick or a Latina girl be like, damn, what's good with you? Like, what? Eight oh, hey, gray oh, shorts. Eight hey, oh, gray I'm shorts. Asian, man. <laughs> I'm like, what? I got and nervous. Oh my god. I yeah. got <laughs> They're the like, ones cat calling that's us. That's what I'm yeah. saying. No, it's true though. I feel yep. like it's so like like flipped. You know what I mean? Yep. But yep. like it's more than welcome. So keep on doing it. Like seriously. Keep it doing it, ladies. <laughs> and and but I think also like that's just the initial process, right? Yeah. Like yeah, I think yeah. like once you get into it, it's like okay, like a woman's gag like a woman. That's just how it's. You know what I mean? Like you gotta treat them like the way they want to be treated, right? Yeah. Like you gotta respect them in the same way. Like culturally, yeah, maybe they have some differences. Yeah. But like, they can't have a guy who cannot like. Personally, for me, assert some kind of dominance. You know what I mean? Like I feel like yeah. they gotta be a certain way where it's like you gotta show me that you're a man. Like you can't just yeah. be like if a Latina or a black woman approaches you, they expect you to not be like nervous or shy. You know what I mean? They're yeah. not going to be like, uh, I think it depends on the woman. Yeah. You, know, you, you think they approach you, yeah. they're like expecting him to I, be shy. I don't know. Right? I haven't personally had that experience. Mm. I, I, my experience has been like most women like confidence. Mm. Um, yeah. And it doesn't have to be in like overconfidence. Like you're not being confident yeah, yeah. in everything. Just yeah. if you're resolute in yourself, if you're like yeah. solid in yourself and mm-hmm. like, the there's different ways of showing that you are a man, you know, because not yeah, everyone is the same. Because I've right. seen I've seen all kinds of people together. Yeah, of um, course. But yeah. I, I, at least I've noticed my there's generalizations that we see, but for the most part, I've seen like everyone's fucking different. Everyone's so different. Where it's like this works for somebody, and it's not gonna work for the other person. Yeah, I think uh, what I mean is like their man is in their confident themselves as a person. Oh, and not saying like yeah. they're machismo or something like that. Oh, like, okay. oh yeah, I'm fucking like man. That's man. A, I feel like that's across <laughs> the board, right? Like yeah, everyone yeah. wants somebody who's confident, who's like uh, sure of themselves. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what that's what I meant by that. Uh, but, yeah. All right, guys, welcome to Lightning Round, where we ask our guests rapid fire questions, and if they can't answer on time, they have to drink. Yep. All right, Justin, are you ready? As ready as can be. All right, one, <laughs> two, three. What's the weirdest uh, person you've ever coached? Weirdest thing they've ever done. Weirdest person? Yeah, weirdest person you've ever coached. Oh, man. Uh, he's always barefoot uh, on the mountain. Oh. <laughs> Sounds like a hippie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, when was your first kiss? Uh, middle? Uh, no, I lied. Uh, like second <laughs> or third grade. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! Oh, oh, cheers to that. Yeah. 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 Cheers to that. Yeah. God damn. Drink of choice. Drink of choice is whiskey. Person mm. who inspires you? Uh, my mother. Hmm. My mom. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um, your first car. First car is a Honda Element. If you were a porn star, what would your name be? Ooh, the Nukester. <laughs> <laughs> the Nukester. <laughs> celebrity crush. Ooh, uh, celebrity crush. Uh, damn it, I have a lot. Uh, Megan Good, uh, Kitty Perry. Uh, yeah. uh, who's the redhead on uh, Marvel? Scarlett Johansson. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I'm horrible at celebrity names. <laughs> um, favorite food? Favorite food. I uh, love sushi. Favorite song? What? Huh? Favorite song. Favorite song? Yeah. Ooh. Uh, damn. Too many. Uh, I'll drink. <laughs> <laughs> what artist inspires you? Like music artists? Yeah, mm-hmm. any kind of artist. Ooh. Uh, damn. Music artist that inspires me. Drake. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Shout out to Last time you cried. Last time I cried. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, like, like bawling yeah, cry. Give me a tear. A tear. Uh, last night, I was I was oh. dying laughing. Favorite DJ. Favorite DJ. Ooh. Um. Damn. Uh, I'm gonna go with Miles Medina right now. Damn. Yeah. Filipinos gotta stay together. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, shout out to Miles though. Uh, all right, cool. You're a physical dude. What's your favorite body part on a woman? <laughs> on a woman? Yeah. Oh, I think I'm an ass guy. Okay. Nice, <laughs> yeah. nice. Okay. That's a big debate. I would have chosen nice. the personality. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say that too. <laughs> Alright, if you had to do one workout for the rest of your life, what would it be? Uh it would be thrusters. <laughs> <laughs> thrusters? <laughs> you know? 
Yeah. <laughs> it's a squat to uh, overhead press. So. Oh, so. Yeah. okay. Full body I movement. Thought it was yeah, yeah, I thought it was like the yeah. hip yeah. press. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was like, ass guy, hip press. Yeah, kind of makes sense. sense. <laughs> All right, cool, cool. Uh, longest relationship? Five years. Mm, okay. Do you? How many kids would you want? Oh, I want an army. Uh, like five. Damn. Yeah. Five. Holy shit. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, favorite clothing brand. Favorite clothing brand as of now, uh, I would go with Kith. If you weren't a trainer, what else would you be? If I weren't a trainer, um, I think I would be working in corporate. Uh, my really? backup uh, degree is HR management. Oh, okay. nice. so yeah, nice. makes you a good coach too. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nice. What's your favorite race? Favorite race mm-hmm. um, right now is. Spartan race in West Virginia. Oh, I meant like black, white. <laughs> oh, oh shit. I'm just kidding. Oh, shit. I'm just kidding. Call me off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Shout out to <laughs> that. <laughs> hey, make sure he have his DMs, right? <laughs> okay. Um, Damn. <laughs> <laughs> that caught me off guard. <laughs> <laughs> if you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? My height. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? I'm, I'm, kidding. I'm, kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. The plot just keeps changing. Yeah, um, I'd go shorter. <laughs> <laughs> so all of them are taller than me. You can I, climb. Everyone. <laughs> Everything is a climb. <laughs> He's a man who loves challenges. Let's just say yeah. that. You know, as cliche as it sounds, like I don't think I would change anything. You know, just oh, damn. keep it okay, perfect you know, like, as, as it is. I'd be taller. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you see your business in three years? In three years, uh, having the HKHQ, having mm. other trainers on board, nice. um, tra- pro- most likely traveling more, um, nice. having going to other cities, hosting workouts, um, and I'll probably be coaching less. I don't know. We'll see. Nice. So, nice. Yeah. Dude, that'd be cool. Yeah. Be cool. More TV shows. <laughs> yes. Ooh, Would you compete that. on American Ninja? American Ninja, no, but we really? have a couple others on oh, the work. In that the we works. can't talk about right Ooh. now? Um, like, yes and no. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yes and really? yeah. So stay tuned, basically. Stay tuned. <laughs> Next, <laughs> episode. Next episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Are abs made in the gym or in the kitchen? In the kitchen, 100%. Okay. okay. Favorite meal? Garlic noodles. Really? Love garlic noodles. Let's go with Vox Kitchen. Oh, oh Vox is solid car. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. That concludes our lightning round. I want to say thank you to our talented, athletic, and single mm-hmm. guest, Justin. <laughs> Appreciate you guys. Let us know where we can find you. Uh, Instagram, uh, J underscore nukes. And the business Instagram is Hardcore Performance. H-A-R-D-K-O-U-R. Mm. Okay, so there's a difference uh-huh. and thank you guys for making it this far make sure you like comment and subscribe below let us know what you guys think about our conversation and what we should talk about next because we love to listen and remember live, live fast, fast eat ass, ass.